Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having an inbox review of Hobby Boss's 148 scale A10 Thunderbolt 2. Um, really, really cool kit. This is a um, really beefy kit, and it costs about £38.99, which is rather a reasonable price for um, what you get in here. Now, this is a sort of a relatively new tool as well. It was new tooled in 2007, so you know. Know, it's not old it's not brand spanking new but it's it's sort of new um, so looking at the box art looks really really cool um, with that nice um, what is it free stage camo pattern going on there we'll just open it up and start taking a look at all these pieces Let's get the box open all right well first off um, you get um, a really cool um sort of nice um sort of satin colored paper here showing us um our free stage camo pattern where all the decals go we've got um color correlates i do believe those are the mr hobby color paints um and all the different weapons which is so cool about this aircraft is weapons 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 um and we've got two different correlates there as you can see um going having a look at now the um the decals let's chop that open you get these out um looking at the decals which are actually nicely packaged right nicely taped down all right so we can open these up and um yeah having a quick look at them i mean um yeah i think the writing you know it does go a little bit blurred the closer you look at it um all the colors do seem quite um colorful in registry um i have used hobby boss um decals before they're not the best but you do sort of get there in the end um now looking at the um these nicer ones with like the shark's teeth um, we've got instrument display panels as well which we can uh, decal in there although those don't look that brilliant to be honest with you um, but yeah it's a nice set of markings there decals not too bad moving along the instructions maybe zoom you out a little bit the instructions you know it's one of these folding out business um which just looking at the looking at it i mean you know it's a it looks like a relatively easy build um but it does look like we're going to have all sorts of options for you know open up panels for gun bays and all those kind of things looks like we're going to have like moving flaps and slats and uh, and those kind of things as well loads and loads of different pylons going on with this for all the different weapons and as you can see it does look like we're going to have we can have the option of having a load of stuff on show moving along um you know we do have this big weapons call out to kind of um you know know where to put the weapons however done a bit of research on the internet and you know some of this doesn't tally up with some of the research i've done so you might want to go off and do your own research into this um, option for um you know a nice ladder there um but apart from that um you know looking quite cool um, you do also get the, some chocks which is rather cool as well and again all those weapons which we'll see in a bit so the instructions yeah i mean they do look like we're going to get there rather nicely first sprue we bring out here we have what is looking like to be our engine sections and exhausts um, and that big massive mean cannon um, that we have on the front as well um, yeah this stuff looks quite cool even the um, the air intakes here you can sort of just see through them so it's not just one flat um, sort of air intake in there you can sort of you know see through just slightly you might want to sand the back of that just a little bit more maybe so that you can just sort of see through a little bit more might look a bit cooler um yeah landing gear as well we've got quite a bit of detail going on with the landing gear as well hopefully as you can just see it's even got some um you know wires or um sort of like maybe brake um, fluid hoses or something like that 
um, they're looking quite cool we do have um, one ejector pin mark though on this side which is a bit of a shame but it's not that bad it's not that in your face um, we then have another sprue here which is just um, you know we have all our landing gear wheels we've got bullets going on we've got fuel tanks um, I do believe this is probably um, probably where the um, the main Gatling gun at the front is going to be and as a note actually if we bring you in right this is the um, instrument display panel hopefully you can see for out of the box that is pretty impressive I mean um, it's almost kind of you know like um, resin uh, a cockpit resin sort of thing going on there and photo etch it really is an impressive um, instrument display panel um, I really do like that um, we do have um, like bullets and stuff here um, not that brilliant in detail um, but then you know if you're gonna probably open all this up you might go off and get aftermarket parts and it'll look pretty snazzy we've got some more um, landing gear detail just here hopefully as you can see you know it is all pretty well detailed have we got an ejector pin mark on here um uh, where are you there you are oh, yeah there's just a little one there and it's actually you can actually see a bit of flash sticking up on that um you know and for the rest of the kit i mean there's hardly any flash on this i mean it is a new kit um looking at some surface detail now move this a little bit well looking at some of this surface detail now um yeah we've got um you know typical hobby boss detail it, it, it's really good surface detail we've got recessed rivets we've got recessed uh, panel lines you know it is well detailed the surface is feeling um quite nice and smooth um we do sort of get a loss of detail as it sort of curves around um in, in some places more than others but not that bad a um, bit more detail here with a load of nice rivets going on um and for the other side you know it's pretty much the same as you can see really cool detail uh, on the inside we do have a load of detail on the inside as well um, for you know wheel wells the whole um, gatling gun system going on in there um, there's not any real detail for the cockpit area but i think that's all going to be um, enclosed in its own little tub anyway uh, and ejector pin marks aren't that bad there so that's quite impressive then we've got um our uh, I do believe this is the lower section of the wings. Hopefully, as you can see, beautiful surface detail going on there. Um, however, I did notice something. I don't know how you're going to pick up on camera, but for this um, underside wing, I'm just feeling this bit of a rough patch sort of feel. It does feel like it's going to need a bit of a sanding um, just to kind of smooth it off. It's sort of like... A pr I don't know like a, a slight problem with the mold or something um, this could be a one-off it could be with all the kits um, and I did also notice I mean our um, pylons here are all looking very well detailed and very sort of crisp um, but one side I do believe there was one side it was just um, not looking quite right um, you know, I think it was just here. It's uh, maybe a bit hard to pick up on camera, but it was a little sort of like the plastic has like creased in on itself or something. Um, it's only I'm only kind of probably being a little bit picky, really. It's not that bad. Um, maybe a bit of a, a sanding or something. Um, just lightly should sort that out with no problems at all really um, then we have the top wing section this sprue we've got no real problems here again surface detail looking pretty nice and smashing uh, we've got our landing gear here as well again the detail on there is looking rather good on the inside um, there's no ejector pin marks or detail as well to be honest with you with that um, on the inside we've got a little bit of um, detail going on just here for the landing gear and then we've got all our flaps and everything um, and they're looking 
rather good, rather crisp, rather consistent. Um, then we have a nice couple of sprues here, which is, you know, you've guessed it, the weapons, right? Um, and just to kind of quickly just run through this, we've got loads of Mavericks, um, two types of um, ECM pods just on there. They are looking rather good detailed um, weapons as well. Um, the other halves to, oh no, we've got more than, we've got quite a few different scents. Now we've got, oh, this is a duplicate, sorry. So we've got two sets of two different types of um, ECMs as well as what looks like to be six Mavericks. Uh, you know, then we've got some cluster bombs and Mark 82s, um, a triple ejection racks and multi ejection racks. Um, we've got all sorts of GBUs going on in there as well. Um, yeah, it's a nice set of weapons to go on there, which is what you need with an A10, because an A10 is like one of the beefiest of aircrafts. Right, and then inside this nice little box here, keeping things separately packaged. Let's get these out. Right, we've got um, rubber wheels. I do like rubber wheels. Um, love them or hate them. Bit of string for our chocks as well, which is a nice little added touch. Uh, ooh, just in here we have um, some cockpit detail and ejection seat, which, um, you know, the detail going on in there is also looking good for out of the box. You know, nice uh, buttons and dolls and everything. Um, then we have our ejector seat which actually surprisingly is well detailed for out of the box um, normally you sort of like gluing this ejector seat together it's normally in like a couple of different pieces but this is like all in one um, with then a few kind of you know joysticks and everything to sort of go around there so actually that is um, rather rather cool um, then we have our canopy so let's take a look at the canopy and the canopy is looking really really shiny um, i am sort of noticing some slight little scratches just inside there now where they've come from i don't know because they are quite well packaged i don't know if you can just pick that up on camera there you go got this little sort of scratch going on in there um, that could be sanded out it might not be that bad um, you know ooh, that's, it's slightly a bit of a shame but it do, it's not that bad I think you could get away with it um, the rear part of the canopy that's looking really really good um, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with that so not bad with the canopy and then you know just another bag here which has got um, all sorts of stuff for like the the maverick um, sensors at the front and um, just little little bits and bobs going on there so that is the entire kit and um, frankly for £38.99 um, I think it's really cool I mean this is a very cool jet there's quite a lot of plastic here quite a lot of weapons going on um, yeah I don't think you can grumble it's definitely well recommended great surface detail new kit it's hobby boss so it's probably going to fit together um, to a reasonably high standard going from hobby boss the decals um, you know they're okay um, I wouldn't say they're the best or the worst um, you know so yeah a damn good kit actually so definitely well recommended um, so until next time my name is Bob Walder and this is Genesis Models and I hope you enjoyed Thank <laughs> you.